Hey, I'm Will Ripley. What I want to show you is some super easy electric guitar songs for beginner. And yeah, it's really important that, uh, that you know, firstly, that there's some badass cool songs that beginners can play. And you don't really need too much technical skill. And I'm going to show you at least a song that's going to demonstrate like, yeah, all that coolness and the badass guitar factors that we all know and love but are actually pretty easy to play. So make sure you stick around after the lesson because I have a membership only area that I can give you access to. And also, me and my team are doing these revolutionary guitar lessons on Skype and Google Hangouts. You can actually get your first lesson for free. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll tell you about that after the lesson. All right, so the first thing that we gotta make sure is that we're in tune. Okay, so over on the App Store, if you have an iPad or iPhone, you can get the Will Ripley Tuner. Just search my name in the App Store and you can get all tuned up. So as a beginner that's playing electric guitar, you want to just make sure that you're playing songs that are attainable and fun. Um, so it's really important to just start somewhere. And it's okay to start really, really basic. Like I don't wanna you know, get you playing you know, something crazy right off the bat because it's just not gonna be any fun. And then, you know, cause I mean, that's the whole reason you picked up this thing, right? Was to have some fun. So what I wanna show you are some bass lines. And reading tab is gonna be really, really helpful for you. So I'll make sure to link you to a video about reading tab. But uh, as you can see on, around there on the screen, we've got uh, smoke on the water. And that's kind of like, it's like such a classic first song to play. And we're gonna all, we're gonna play this all on this low string, okay? So it sounds cool and it's fun and it's easy. Okay, okay another one would be Seven Nation Army uh, by the White Stripes, so something like this. Heard that somewhere, right? And then, uh, and then the next step, you know, beyond those bass lines would be something like uh, using some power chords. So something like this. Okay, so it sounds cool. Again, super easy. Also, something like this. Now we've all heard that some more. Again, sounds super fun, it's cool, easy. Um, and then, and only then when you get that kind of stuff down, then we would get into, you know, some solo-y stuff. You know, or, or whatever the case. And then chords. And so on and so on. So. Let's, t let's start with uh, some of these bass lines, and then I just wanna make sure that you got a good handle on some of those. So let's pop up the tab for Smoke on the Water. And it's just, you know, as long as you know how to read, you can play guitar by reading tab. Okay, so those numbers just equal the frets. And just to make sure that you know what I'm talking about, the frets are actually these silver bars, okay? So they aren't anything else. They aren't the space in between or anything like that. So that first note is zero, okay? I would think about zero as, as the O for open, okay? So that first note is just our open string. Now the next note is number three. Okay, so what do you do is you'd slide this finger up to third fret, okay? And just a quick little tip, play it close to the third fret. Don't play it down here. Okay, it'll sound nasty. And just see if you can get the nasty sound and then just slide it up. And apply the same pressure and I think you'll find that, holy smokes, you can get a clear sound as long as you play close to the fret. And play that with your first finger. And the next note, you're gonna play it with your third finger up on fifth fret. Okay, so. And the reason that we use these other fingers is so that uh, you don't have to move your, f your hand around. It might seem like it's easy to use, uh, use one finger for these riffs, and you can play them, but it actually is just gonna kind of, it's not gonna really set you up for proper guitar technique. 
And uh, so we want to learn as much as possible here. So then we get the next part. And if I'm going too fast, just make sure to pause and rewind. Just go over these parts over and over until you get them. So we got zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. So you just follow the numbers there and follow these, um, watch what fingers I'm using, right? And so, um, so here is Seven Nation Army. I'm just gonna go really quickly through this. Again, you can pause it and, uh, and then learn the notes and learn the riff. So the only difference with this is we're gonna hop up to third fret on the A string, so the next string down. Okay, and it's really important to start with your third finger and your first finger so that you don't have to move around too much, right? Right. My hand stays in the same spot. I've got my thumb in the back of the neck for these guys. And I got my hand, my right hand planted. I'm using all down strokes. I go into other, uh, other videos with the right hand and the thumb and all that kind of stuff. But, so here it is, nice and slow. So now that would be a great place to start for beginner electric guitar songs. And it's, uh, yeah, you definitely want to start somewhere and that would be the easiest, most fun way to do it. And by the way, these songs are disguised because they're really actually finger exercises. Okay, so I always try to do that kind of stuff in my teaching. So the next step would be to grab some power chords. So that would be two, well like whenever we say chords, that means that you're gonna play more than one note, so at least two notes, okay? Because chords are basically a combination of notes. So now try this. Grab your first finger, go to the second fret of the A string, and now with your right hand, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plow through both strings. You don't want to separate them like that too much. You want to actually plow through both of them. Okay? And uh, you put a little distortion on the old amplifier and you're in rock territory already. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to play the start of TNT by ACDC. So it sounds like this. doing is these three things. We got this one, which I just showed you, and then you're going to grab your second finger and put it on the third fret. You can give a little bend, just a little tweak, but you don't have to. And then we're just going to move this shape that we played with these two fingers. We're just going to move that down one fret, or sorry, down one string, okay? So we just played this, and then we just played this. Okay, so we've got the first shape, the second shape, and then the third shape. And I mean, even that sounds kind of cool. You can mess around with that. It's kind of like the start of, uh, of a riff from Rage Against the Machine. Um, I think that's bullet in, my, in your head. Bullet in, in my head or something like that. So that's another song that, and, and this is the cool thing about what I'm showing you right now is it's actually in a million songs, lots of AZDC. I mean, and then on the other side of the rock world is Rage Against the Machine and we're in, you know, use the same techniques. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so the rhythm now, we got those three shapes. But now the rhythm, if you think about the song TNT, sounds more like this. promise you that it's not using anything out of those three shapes I just showed you. So we got, and I'm doing a little stop there with the right hand, so I plow through those two strings, and then 
stop the strings with my hands, okay? And then, so we got stop, third fret, and another stop. And this is the only tricky part is that now we're gonna go back to that second shape and switch back and forth. So I would actually just leave my finger here and because I can go like this. Okay, so we got stop, a little quick stop, and then we go, and that's the whole riff, okay, and you just repeat it. So I'll play it nice and slow, and if I'm going fast at, at any point here, just make sure you stop the video, rewind, and watch it, and just make sure you get each one of these pieces, because the info is all here. So we got this. Nice and slow. So again. Okay, so that would be the, the section between the verse and now it's the chorus. So that's So that would be a great song to play and learn as a beginner looking for electric guitar songs. Another great song, um, we mentioned Bullet in, in the Head, I think it's Bullet in the Head by Rage Against the Machine. Um, and that's only going to throw in this one other chord. So that's a power chord. And that would be the next step in the progression for you as a beginner electric guitarist would be get, get some power chords. And uh, so that one, again, nice and slow, went like this. And then we got this shape, which is a power chord. So again, that last part is the most tricky. So we got power chord, third fret, A power chord to the E power chord. Okay. And then so, uh, yeah, I Love Rock and Roll is another great one. Right, and you can see we're all using the same techniques and we're playing three totally different songs. So it's pretty neat. And, and these are like, yeah, some really fundamental rock guitar techniques that I'm showing you here. And then so, now we're getting into this power chord. So this is always the same thing. So we got two frets up, one string over. And we can play a song like Iron Man. Okay, so check that out. So that's second fret. And now notice when I slide this up to fifth fret, so this is fifth fret, this guy stays the same. It's always that two frets up, one string over um, relationship, right? So a power chord always has that same relationship. So we got. Okay. So, and then we can pop up here. And for a beginner, um, they actually, um, like the way Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath plays it, he would go like this. Right? But that's really, really tough, especially if you're brand new to power chords. But yeah, what you can do is you can just use your first finger on 10th fret and you're moving 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, so. And then you're back down to fifth fret. And seventh fret. So just listen to the song and you know, get it in your head, see if you can hum it before you can play it. So that will really help you use your ear and, uh, and to play the right chords and the rhythm, right? So here's the whole thing. So we got, and again, I got my thumb in the back. Um, we'll go into those in some other videos. So, okay. So, these are some really fundamental beginner guitar stuff, um, and we're all using power chords, except for those first examples. We're playing bass lines. And speaking about Rage Against the Machine, there's some great uh, Rage songs like Bomb Track. And 
and stuff like that that uh, uses single notes, sounds really beefy. Um, another great beginner electric guitar song would be the riff from uh, Albert King's Born Under a Bad Sign. <laughs> Also the bass line from Pumped Up Kicks. Right, so there's all kinds of fun single note bass lines that you can do. And then the next step would be to start using two strings at the same time. You know, another a song would be like Nirvana's Come As You Are. So the key with that one is I'm playing two notes. And they're ringing at the same time. So same thing with here. That low string is ringing. Right, but I'm playing two notes. So that would be the next step is playing more than one note at the same time. And then the step up from there um, would be the power chord. You know, so using those full power chords. Um, and you know, there's just a million songs that utilize these. Um, so those are all over the place. And then, and only then when you have this foundation laid down, you're going to move into chords. Okay, so that's the progression I would recommend. Start with bass lines, move your way to power chords, and then full power chords, and then chords, right? And then worry about, you know, some solo stuff. And yeah, I mean, you know, a big reason we all play electric guitar is for the guitar solo stuff. And, you know, all that good stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, Thunderstruck would be, a, it's a easy enough little riff that you can learn. Um, you know, and then, but all this stuff is laying the foundation for you to become a real guitar player that can hold down rhythm, play with other people, play in bands, you know, and uh, play along with songs and stuff like that. So, yeah, hope this was helpful to you. All right, so I hope you learned a ton. At least subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to get more videos. And if you're more serious, if you want to step it up and maybe get full length lessons and stuff like that, you don't want to go over and just follow the directions on how you can get access to my membership website, a 13 part video series, and a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session. So just follow the directions on that page on how you can get access to everything. And until then, keep on ripping it up.